And this is two from sharks to whales. Good news when it comes to the right whale population off our coast. Today we got this photo of a mother whale named Giza and her calf just spotted off the St. John's River entrance. Meteorologist Danielle Uliano explains what boaters need to know. This mom and her calf now makes the 16th right whale spotting this season. That's significant because it's the highest number of calves spotted in the past five years. And with warmer weather and spring break right around the corner, those on boats need to be cautious. Still in the near shore waters of northeast Florida, and their extra effort to um, slow the vessel and post a lookout can prevent damage. Are there any speed regulations along our coast for boats? So vessels uh, greater than 65 feet in length have to slow down to 10 knots. The whales do not have a dorsal fin, so they can be difficult to spot. There are some characteristics of them, such as the V-shaped blow when they exhale uh, air, but that can, that's um, not always a giveaway. And if you're out on a boat and you're worried about whales in your area, you can download the Whale Alert app. Not only will it let you know when whales are spotted in your area, it'll also let you report one if you see one and also look for nursing grounds and slow speed zones. This is why it's so important. This is what happened to a calf last month when a boat hit it. You can see the propeller marks in its back. The calf died. Its mom was later spotted with injuries too. The reason for all of these regulations and these um, guidelines is that this is a critically endangered species. Boaters can do their part to help keep the right whale population growing off our coast. Danielle Uliano, Channel 4, the local station. Right whale calving season is coming to an end, and so far this year, wildlife officials have identified 16 new calves. That's compared to 22 births the previous four seasons combined.